Javier Bordo Martin. These last three guys on my staff, I can't say enough about them. I am probably the world's worst person to work for. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Wow. Uh, I, hey, I admit it. I admit it. They have done an amazing job. Uh, we have consistency in our staff. Uh, Justin Smart is our freshman coach, also does all our social media, just does an amazing job with that. <laughs> Corbin Byford, uh, he graduated from UCO. He was my very first hire when I came here, teaches math. Him and Justin both teach math, so they have core classes. Uh, they're dedicated teachers, but Corbin does a great job with our post players. Um, evidently, I need to let him work with the guards from our shooting, how we've had, uh, you know, especially this year. But uh, Coach Byford does a great job. And then, uh, Brandon Mitchell uh, was here when I got here. He's been here 15 years or so. I think he's lost track. Uh, teaches American government, also does a great job in the classroom, but uh, does a great job for us. Uh, on and off the floor with our guys, a great communicator and a great teacher of the game. All three of these guys are going to be tremendous, tremendous head coaches uh, sooner probably than later. And I, I hate that I will lose them, but I know they will be uh, tremendous, tremendous head coaches. Thank you, guys. It's failed every place it's tried. 
Prior to the Bible ban in 1963, my parents bought me a record called Yappity Yap. Some of the lyrics are, take out the papers and the trash, or you don't get no spending cash. If you don't scrub kitchen floor, you ain't gonna rock and roll no more. Yappity Yap, don't talk back. I have not always recognized the spirituality of this song. At, at some time in the teenage years, at the appropriate occasion, I have played it for my children and my grandchildren. I have not realized it supports the fourth commandment of honor your father and your mother, which is right in there with don't murder, steal, lie, or commit adultery. In conclusion, honoring parents is not easy. If you don't know what trash is or have been educated in secular religion, you might check with your parents or God-fearing parents. I'm requesting the school board administration to take out the trash. The children can find the trashy stuff anywhere. They don't need the school's recommendation. In comparison, it's like the school explaining that how bad smoking is but providing cigarettes or vapes. Educated guessing right Especially now. Especially right now. 
when in two weeks out we're seeing that. So I appreciate your efforts to keep us in line with our budget, even if you have to go over to do that. So yeah, I appreciate that. Any other questions? Got a motion? I move that we approve the um, results for for CM Jim Power for Lord Harvest Riser and Will Rogers. Second. Coleman. Yes. Duncan. Yes. Henson. Yes. Gunn. Yes. Underwood. Yes. Item number eight: possible consideration and vote <laughs> to award bid to Streets LLC Mechanical in the amount of $1,621,077 for Sequoia Middle School HVAC replacement to be paid from bond funds. Okay, this is a straight HVAC bid only. Uh, we awarded the base in December for this. Uh, it's just right around three million, a little over. This is an alternate that we bid at the time. We weren't sure if we'd have the funds. Uh, after a few other bids, we do have the funds. In the time frame where we can go ahead and award the alternate. Um, and, and everybody agreed that we're good with it. You know, it's been four months later. Uh, so we're going to move forward and you know, award this alternate. Agreed? Hopefully it'll come in before it's hot. Yes. <laughs> uh, that is one of the big reasons for this, is the main thing on this is a chiller. Uh, it currently has a six month lead. And that's all meant to do. Is that correct? So we won't be here before it's cool again, or late. The chiller is mostly for uh, cooling, so we're hoping we have it uh, functional by March, April, 2023. 2023. Our world is so interesting right now. I make a motion. Any other questions? Okay. Make a motion we award the bid to Streets LLC Mechanical for the Sequoia HVAC replacement. Second. Benson? Yes. Duncan? Yes. Coleman? Yes. Jones? Yes. Underwood? Yes. Item number nine possible consideration and vote to approve bid results and award contracts per construction manager Genco for Santa Fe High School classroom edition. You can just stay up here if you want to. I don't know what I think. <laughs> but I'm glad to see you're I smiling. Thought was, I thought it was just a search. <laughs> you still got two more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Santa Fe Classroom Edition. Uh, this is on the west side. It's the same place as our last edition. Uh, numbers came in great. Uh, exactly right where we wanted them. Uh, we will have a delayed start on this one to make sure we get materials here. So we won't see construction begin on this one until right after school stop. To run at your schools now? Yeah. Okay. Do you think that there's no way to be completed before they start school? If everything actually shows up like I've been told today, we not not before school starts, but before school starts following year. Twenty twenty three? You're gonna get that built in three months. Okay, and that makes sense. <laughs> well, I think it's important that people understand the situation that you're faced with with supplies. If you just make I, I walked in the office last week and I said, Justin, I, I can't bid this stuff right now. Nobody knows well, what they're doing. Well, when things are going to show up. So that's why we're doing a delay to start. Oh, this sets this one up for success. The price has increased daily. Yes. <clears throat> Any other questions? Do I have a motion? I move that we approve the bid results and award the contracts per construction manager Jenko for Santa Fe High School Classroom Edition. Second. Cole. Yes. Jones. Yes. Benson. Yes. Duncan. Yes. Underwood. Yes. Now he gets, now he gets to sit down. Okay, item number 10. Possible consideration of vote to approve final plans for Edmund Memorial High School Freshman Academy Edition and authorize the bidding process. Yes, this is one of the projects that was on the uh, 2021 bond issue. Uh, and if you're familiar with uh, the Memorial Campus, and the Freshman Academy sits at uh, the, the back of the school, so on the south end of the campus. And this will uh, go on the west end of that building. Uh, it's consistent uh, as far as the design line uh, side of it. 
with the rest of the building. Uh, we'll move the, the dumpster that's currently back here. We'll build an enclosure, put it in there. Uh, the auditorium, again, just for reference, is right over here. So we'll be adding uh, basically five classrooms. Uh, it'll be uh, kind of shifting over some of our current classrooms right now. Uh, on the first floor, we've got a, a, a small uh, a math class right in here. Uh, that will move over, and it'll actually be a larger classroom than what they've got now. These, these three on the bottom will be just regular classrooms. On the top, we'll have two additional science classrooms, and we'll use the, the dual-purpose uh, lab student desk uh, that we've uh, started using in some of our science classrooms around the district. That helps uh, create more space within the room, get more students in those classrooms. Um, some of the, the older uh, lab lecture setups uh, kind of cram kids up at the front because so much of the, the classroom is taken up with the lab space that's used just uh, sparingly throughout the, the class. We'll also have one uh, regular classroom here uh, on the top as well. Another component of this project is updating the industrial arts building, the little shop building. Uh, it is in major need of uh, improvements. It hasn't. Uh, it, it looks the same as it did uh, in 1997 when I was in school there. So, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Van Cleve does a fantastic job with that program and has really continued to grow it. Uh, so this will be a, a much needed and necessary improvement to that building. Um, to give you kind of a frame of reference, this is the, what a science lab will look like. Uh, that's those kidney beans shape uh, uh, tables that also double as the, the lab set. With this addition, you're not uh, taking away any parking spots, are you? We'll lose two spots. Two spots. Yeah. Two spots. Is Memorial starting to get where the main building is maxed out? Yeah, I mean, we're, we'll have uh, six additional classes that will open up this coming fall on the front end. Um, and then, uh, you know, with the redistricting that we did several years ago, uh, those students are now starting to hit memorials. So uh, this is kind of a preparation for those uh, students that will be getting there in August of uh, the 2023. Just also to uh, clarify, the wood shop is it? Will it be in the same location? Yeah, which yeah. Is it's just renovating it, updating it. Yeah. Okay, because it's yeah. kind of yeah, it's tucked down there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It would seem weird for it not to be yeah. there after all these years. Yeah. I'm yeah. glad they're getting another day. Any other questions? Yeah, I had a question. Justin, I'm looking for the uh, restrooms. Did we add some? Yeah. I, I see we did next to the wood shop. But what about the uh, the lab there? So as far as the restroom goes, uh, this is the restroom right here uh -huh. uh, that we we would be adding on the first floor. Okay, that should be adequate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do I have a motion? I motion that we approve the final plans for Edmund Memorial High School Freshman Academy edition and authorize the bidding process. Second. Jones? Yes. Benson? Yes. Duncan? Yes. Coleman? Yes. Underwood? Yes. Thank you. Item number 11, possible consideration of both to approve final parking, paving plans, and to authorize the bidding process. Yes. Uh, another component of that uh, 2021 bond issue was uh, paving improvements to a number of campuses. We've got uh, several of those included tonight. We've got a few others that uh, will either come out in May or have been included in other projects. Uh, so this is a site plan of Angie DeBeau. Uh, so we'll be just updating, uh, patching, and then putting a new surface on their main parking lot in front for visitors and for uh, uh, 
staff uh, will also you know, be restriping, marking, those types of things as well. Westfield, again, it's very hard to believe that they're at the age now where we've got to start doing some updates there. We're doing flooring. Uh, the parking lot is another uh, area that we need to update. So uh, everywhere where we see the yellow is just uh, patch and then uh, seal coat, which is a new top layer. Um, and then we've got some drainage that we've noticed is uh, becoming an issue down here in this area that we'll address as well. Charles Haskell at Summit, you know, uh, one camp, basically one campus, uh, two, two schools. Uh, we'll be updating uh, all of the asphalt. The, the area that we won't touch is the, the concrete, so this area here and then the bus loop area over here is, is concrete. Uh, we won't be addressing that. We'll be addressing all of the asphalt areas for both of those sites. Cheyenne, same thing. Uh, we'll be updating uh, and improving the uh, asphalt area for the staff and for the visitors on the west side of that campus. Northern Hills, again, mainly just patch and seal coat. Uh, the visitor and staff parking up here. Again, there's a little bit of an area over here by the gym for staff parking as well that we'll update. This is all concrete, it's in good shape. Chisholm uh, will patch, seal coat, and, and mark all of the yellow area. Uh, this is kind of a, a, a drainage area that we're gonna fix. A lot of times, especially with, with snow, uh, it, it seems to, as it uh, melts, it, it congregates and pools down in that area, so we'll address the, the grading on that and replace it with new concrete. And then on uh, Memorial's campus, the West Lot, this is uh, the new band room, uh, auditorium here just for reference, and softball. Uh, this is all asphalt that will be milled uh, down and, and a new parking lot will be Put the place there. So. But Justin, this is all Red Pines that's doing all this work, correct? They're the civil engineer for the district, yes. They they design it. We, we haven't bid it, so we don't have the, okay. the, the contractor. Can, you can get it all done in the summer. Yeah. yeah. We, A lot of projects. Yeah. yeah. Any questions? Do I motion? I motion that we uh, consider the final approval of the final parking and pavement plans and authorize the bidding process. Second. Jones. Yes. Goldman. Yes. Benson. Yes. Duncan. Yes. Underwood. Yes. Item 12, possible consideration and vote to approve single reading revision to policy 3275. Yes, we brought um, policy 3275 to you in August when the State Department put out emergency rules based on um, House Bill 1775, and the State Board met, it was like two weeks ago, and put in place permanent rules, and there were just a few changes, and so we need to make sure our policy reflects those permanent rules. For example, the course, the definition of the course added programmer activity, and it added instructional activities, lessons, sessions, it just added a little bit, broadened that definition. It um, changed the time period, in the emergency rules, there were 90 days to complete the investigation, and the permanent rules are 45. So we just needed to make a few corrections, those are the main ones, to update this policy based on the permanent rules. Any questions? So maybe you took this, the wording from this from the Open State School Board I, Association. I took it directly from the Open State School Board Association's recommendations. I move that we approve the revision to policy 3275. Second. Coolman. Yes. Duncan. Yes. Benson. Yes. Jones. Yes. Underwood. Yes. Next we have our consent agenda. Uh, Kathleen, do you have any items okay. you'd like to pull? I, uh, let's see. Number 22. Uh, yes, 
27D. D is a dog.